2024 West Kelowna Warriors Awards Ceremony. First off, let's give a hand to the West Kelowna Warriors on a hard-fought win tonight. With the win, the Warriors finish in second place in the Interior Conference. And we'll play the Cranbrook Bucks in the first round of the playoffs starting next Friday. But let's get things rolling on the awards ceremony and we'll start off with our most improved player award. And we have Josh Georges here to present the award. Suiting up in his second season with the Warriors, this player has been a solid fixture on the blue line, spending many nights matching up against opponents' top lines. This Warrior has had a big impact on the game while sometimes not showing up on the score sheet. This Warrior, or this year's most improved player is number six, Landon Hilditch. We'll move along with our Rookie of the Year award, and we have Warriors Assistant Coach and Assistant General Manager, Ayrton Nickel, to present that award. One part of five different scores to have 20 or more goals this year for the Warriors. This player made this transition to junior hockey very effectively. With a combination of a lethal shot with terrific speed, this player made nights hard for every opposing goaltender that he played. Your Rookie of the Year is number nine, Jack Pridham. We'll move along and next up is our heart and soul award. We have head coach and general manager Simon Ferguson to present this. Not many players gave it their all more than this particular warrior who traveled from far ways to make his mark in West Kelowna. Playing in all situations, this player does whatever it takes to help his team win games. Your heart and soul award winner this season is number 22, Johannes Lockberg. We now have our Volunteer of the Year Award, and for that, we'll hand things over to Warriors President Chris Lorry. Um, so volunteers, I'd like, for those of you who don't know how much work goes on behind the scenes, we couldn't put on these events and, and the shows that we, we try and put on for the fans here without the help of the volunteers. If we had to pay every one of them, we wouldn't be able to do it. So it's th these folks are so important to us and they don't get the credit that they deserve. Um, you know, they're everywhere. You look around the building, you walk through the front door, there's your volunteers. You, you know, you look in the penalty box, there's your volunteers. Everybody out front in the yellow jackets. We have Sean Moore, who's our volunteer coordinator. We have so many. Um, we have Austin up there on the spotlight, Tanner up here on the spotlight. There's so many I could give this award to. But tonight, we have two individuals who show up and do their job every single night. Don't say a word, they're always there. It's not a fun job. And I'm talking about our gold judges. Lori and Kathy Oldham, they're, they're over here behind the net. Can you guys make your way around? We'll get a photo. As that is going, we'll move along here to our Community Minded Award, and we have our office manager, Amy Kruger, who will present that. Our next award winner has embedded himself in the community of West Kelowna. For three seasons, he made the Central Okanagan a second home. This warrior player 
is willing to help the community in any way and represents the Warriors in a terrific way outside of the rink. Your community-minded player of the year is number eight, Dylan Brooks. Next up, we have our Rod Hume Dedication Award, and we'll see if Rod can come down to present that. If not, then we'll get Chris to do that. There's Rod. Rod's the Warriors owner and managing partner. Let's give a hand for Rod coming out here. This Warrior player played in each of the 54 games this regular season and excelled in his rookie year. Whether on the ice or in the weight room, this Warriors player gave his complete effort each and every day. Your Rod Hume Dedication Award winner is number 11, Cal Hughes. Academic Award next, and we'll have Eric Nickel, the Warriors assistant coach and assistant general manager, to present that. This year's winner brings the same drive and intensity on the ice as he does in the classroom while balancing his success on the ice with six classes. This Warrior holds a 3.9 GPA and a 98% in business management. Your academic award winner is number 11 again, Cal Hughes. And next we have our Chaplaincy Award, and for that we have Don Richmond presenting. And this year's winner of the Chaplaincy Award is number 25, Caden Kemkaren Humble. We'll move along and have our fan of the year, and we have Chris Laurie again to present that. Thanks, Trevor. Um, again, this is another tough one. I, I'm so proud of this fan base, how it's grown over since COVID. Every year over a year, we average higher and higher attendance, and we get to see full buildings like tonight. And I'm just so proud of this community. There was a time when the you know, state of the franchise was fragile, and it's not there anymore. And we're a destination franchise for players to come in and. And I can tell you that these these players love playing in front of you guys. So pat yourselves on the on the back. And we're all proud of you. So for fan of the year this year, it's another hard one. But this is an individual who's the first fan through the doors every single game. He doesn't miss a warm up. He doesn't say a lot during the games, but he talks to all the staff before the game, and he he cherishes his Warriors. He's always up there in his Warriors hat. Up in 106, sitting in the top row, Bert Bushel. Congratulations. I'll, I'll come see a Bert in a minute. All right. This is Corporate Partner of the Year. Again, another important part of our organization is our corporate partners. We couldn't financially support this organization without the support of the business community, and we have over 90 corporate partners, which again, I'm really proud of. Um, this one company specifically has supported us for years. They also come to the games. They have a VIP table. Um, and they have kids involved in hockey and they're ingrained in the community and, and it's a very popular individual. We're talking about Kochar and company accountants. Vicky Kochar, I can see you talking up there. Somebody tap him on the back and tell him to come down here. 
Hey, hey, Cam, do you want to tell Vicky he won? Cam, do you want to tell him? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Vicky. All right, as we wait for Vicky to come down, we will uh, move along now to our fan favorite award. It's always a fun one, and we'll have Chris Laurie to present that award. This year's winner is a number part of the Warriors 20 plus goal club and brings crowds to their feet with his hard work and goal scoring ability. 12 of his 22 goals were scored this season right here at Royal LePage Place. Your fan favorite award goes to number 19, Jackson Kierkostas. We'll move along to our top forward award, and that is presented by Josh Georges, Warriors assistant coach. This year's winner posted the first 30 goal season by a Warrior since Tyler Crystal back in the 21-22 campaign. And has been a steady offensive producer all season long and ranks in the top three in scoring to go along with a strong forechecking presence, a great penalty killing inst instinct. He's pretty good at taking off players' helmets too. Your top forward award this season goes to number 13, Felix Caron. Up next, we have our best defenseman award, and that'll be presented by Ayrton Nickel, who looks after the Warriors blue line. Not often are team awards won in back-to-back -back years. But in this player's case, it was tough to look at anyone else playing minutes in every scenario and quarterbacking the Warriors' power play. This blue liner has been at the top of his game for each of the past two seasons. Your top defenseman award is number 16, Isaiah Norland. And for our last player award, the MVP, we have Simon Ferguson here to present that. This season's MVP has been a part of the program for each of the past three years and has become one of the top players of his position in the BCHL. He's the top scoring defender in the league with 48 points and has been a driving force for the Warriors throughout the season. This year's MVP is number 16, Isaiah Norlin. We'll have Warriors head coach and general manager Simon Ferguson here to present the Warriors graduating players. First, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the fans here. Uh, I think it's a huge bonus when we have you guys going all, all game like they were tonight. It was awesome and I hope we keep you going in the playoffs here. Um, okay, and then to the players, I mean, been working all season long another 30 win season for us uh, second place in the division pretty proud of that and more is to come here okay so we've got two first years in our 20 year olds we've got one second year or one two-year player and we've got one three-year player and two four-year players it really talks to uh, the development and the long-term development that we have here and we've established since 2020 and since Rod Hume and John Murphy took over. And so we're pretty proud of the fact that we've had these guys for this amount of time and they've developed through. Uh, so I'll just read through them and then they'll come up after that. Uh, Vigo Nordstrom, he's our first Swedish player, uh, played for the Warriors. Rourke Appleby uh, from Ontario, has been a consistent all-star all year long. Uh, Michael Salandra from New York is one of the most talented players who grew, grew into a real complete player for us and we hope to see him back soon. Uh, Isaiah Norlin uh, has worked his way from Minnesota. He's worked his way from a guy who battled to be in the lineup three years ago to uh, one of the top defensemen in the league. 
Uh, Dylan Brooks, uh, he's, been, he's from BC as well. He's actually been here four years. Uh, he joined us for, in the dark days of COVID, worked every day uh, during his spot, and he's one of the top defenders on our team right now. And finally, uh, Captain Brennan Nelson. Brennan's from right here in the Okanagan. Uh, he made the team out of spring camp. Uh, no commitments, he just worked his way up every single day. Um, and one of the best playoff players that I know uh, after last year, and, and we're excited to, for him to be back in the lineup and leading us in playoffs. And for one more time, give it up for the West Kelowna Warriors. Thank you everybody for sticking around tonight. We'll hope to see you next Friday for game one of the Interior Conference quarterfinal against the Cranbrook Bucks. Thank you.